Pixel. Well, welcome back to fucking Fear. Wow, that was pretty sweet. Thanks, babe. And, uh... <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. We're back to Fear, so we're gonna keep this going. We just can finish talking about fucking spirits and might continue. Might I was not. gonna give you my, my, uh, my opinion. Well, go for if it. If you don't mind. Yo, do it. Play the video game I, um, and give me your opinion. The one, the one thing that angers me... Not, not really angers me, but the one... The one thing that sort of annoys me when people, like, you know, let's just say, for instance, people believe in spirits. Any sort of experience they have, they will always assume it to be a spirit. And you were, I think you were sort of, I think you were sort of going on that, on that note, too, that if you know, they, they don't take, the, they don't take into consideration the other side, or if there is an other side, or other, you know explanation behind so, it. To play devil's advocate, I feel like that also applies on the opposite, though. Those who think that there is no spirit and things like that all, all are, are the exact same way, where they, they don't take in the, the other person's... the other the other side of the, the equation, and I'll let you get back to your thing in just two seconds here. I feel like I'm one of the more open-minded individuals, where I have my beliefs, and, you know, I... I can't say that I'm 100% unbiased because of that, but I, I I love being challenged. Like when somebody shows up and they're like, "Man, I believe in this." Like as long as they're comfortable, I'd love to debate that topic with them for right. like hours because it's it's super fucking interesting to me. Because you know that person might say something, and I'm like, "Man, I never fucking thought of that before." That is a good point. Exactly. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Continue. Sorry. Yeah, that's uh, I'm taking a critical thinking class this semester, and it's like, it's kind of interesting because. One of the big points that are sort of um, hit home in that class is, you know, there's no sense in believing something until you have good reason to believe something and good evidence to believe that something is or is not the case. And, like, you know, I think more people need to adopt that um, type of attitude because I don't think everybody does. And, you know, I think... I would say most people don't. Actually, I'd say most people right. don't do that. Um, and a more philosophical aspect of, you know, Socrates, an unexamined life is a life that's not worth living, and I think that's that's pretty that's pretty true. You know, I mean, if we don't examine and think about what we believe and fi figure out if we have good reason to believe it or not, then you know, then what's the, what's the point of believing something if we don't have good enough reason to? You know, yeah. I mean, same thing with like, you know, yeah, like it's it's all fine and well that your, you know, parents are Catholic, but you should be Catholic because you have good reason to believe that there's a God, as opposed to just adopting a belief because of family or friends. Well, or... I think a prime example of that is me, because my parents are Catholic. I was born doing, you know, church, doing church. <laughs> I was born, you know, going to church, and I, I did Sunday school, and I even did, like, what is it called when you like go to church on not Sundays? When you like you subscribe to those, I don't know. <laughs> That's Anyways, it was I, I went to church more than once a week, and it was like this youth thing. And I've been very sus not not susceptible, but I've been very in to the the Catholic religion. But I've also done a lot of research on on you know the Christian, Jewish, Islamic, you know. Right types of, of beliefs because I'm very open minded. I mean, shit, I've gone so far as to done research on fucking. <laughs> Japanese and Chinese beliefs and things right. like that. And I'm telling you, man, you want to hear some weird fucking shit? Look into those religions, man. I'm not judging them. If that's what they believe, more power to them. That's great. It explains, you know, it explains their their existence. But man, it's fucking weird to to a to a uh, an Easterner. <laughs> not Eastern. What is West? Westerner. Fuck. Eastern. My backward. Oh, my, my directions are backwards. Uh, <clears throat> A Westerner like myself. Um, this is going to go ahead and do you want to read that? It's it's fucking long. Just yeah. pretend you hear the voice that's sexy. Yeah, if you want to read this, just pause it. <laughs> just pause it. Anyway, um, but to kind of go back to what you were saying, something that's interesting is is actually me and, and my girl because I feel my like I'm girl. kind of similar my, to. My <laughs> girl, fucking <laughs> bad, my girl, my girl. Um. Because I'm, I'm an incredibly, incredibly analytical person. Like, any situation, any idea, any philosophy, any thought, any theory, like, I will die 
fucking sect that shit to like pieces. Right. And and then once I've dissected it, I'll literally expose it to different scenarios, different people, different beliefs, different ideologies, and right. get feedback on that because like I I'm like you. I like to analyze it. I like to to break it down and understand it from every every way there is to understand it to make sure that, you know, it makes sense and make sure exactly. that I'm not just viewing this coin from one side. Um, but I don't think that, that that type of mindset actually works for everybody. I think it works for you and I think it works for me. And again, might be a biased thing. I think it leads to a more open-minded uh, state of mind. Right. But I don't think that that works for some people. I think some people... I don't want to say aren't capable of, but they're not comfortable breaking right. it down like that. They're not comfortable dissecting it and, and understanding it. Like, they find something that works for them, and then that's what works for them. And again, I don't necessarily think that's the best way to do it, but right. I'm also a huge believer in, you know, whatever works for you. Like, whatever makes, whatever, whatever makes you happy, whatever gets, you know your understanding and makes you comfortable i mean that's that's the way it should be right you know i i if 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 i think that my idea I, my opinion is the, the right opinion um <laughs> I, that doesn't mean anything to you because that might not be the best answer right. for you or the best way of of doing it for you um i had a point i thought of this <laughs> you, you were talking about this a while ago and we we've kind of tangent it off at this point i had a point to that but um i guess what i will say is that um <laughs> oh you're just testing the gun <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, what'd you shoot at <laughs> um but but what i will say is you know uh whatever you guys believe anybody who's listening to this if you're if you're atheist agnostic catholic jewish spaghetti monster scientologist whatever spaghetti monster. <laughs> that's an awesome boy religion i don't know uh, there it actually is a religion believe it or not um you know if if that works for you then i'm i'm glad that, that works for you i i will always be a proponent of you know open-mindedness and being comfortable uh with with exploring the doubts and, oh, and yeah. counterpoints and things like that. But, I mean, if that's something that doesn't work for you, then I'm not going to, like, tell you you're wrong, you know, <laughs> for, for for believing that. I, I think that it is better to explore and, and challenge your beliefs. Um, Agreed. But, you know, if that's not something you're into or comfortable with, then that's your prerogative. Drop a comment. Let us know what yeah, you're please. Doing. Actually, actually, really do though. That's it. Sounds fucking like industry yeah. and corporate. Like, if you like this, subscribe. Yeah. But like, I mean, I am, I am interested. Again, to go back to what I said before, I, I love to these debates and I love these conversations. So Dude. feel free to shout out down in that little box of fucking commenting. Dude, it's gonna be like a philosophy podcast. <laughs> Dude, I, I, gaming I, I like <laughs> I like this shit. It's like it's like a podcast, but there's gameplay happening also. Dude, exactly. Best of both That's worlds. The beautifulness of life. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad these days. <laughs> yeah, you only died nine thousand times. But I'm getting there, man. You're getting there. Dude, let's see if that cup's your way. Dude, uh, just, just an Arbican emblem. Dude, There's a lot of med kits, dude. You think something's like, gonna come up here? Probably, something? especially because it's saving. So, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's a helicopter. Helicopter. It's, I'm no, no, it's not. <laughs> it's funny because the the it's previous like episodes of us. Leaving? <laughs> what? Why are they leaving? They're, they're getting shot at. But like the the previous episodes are just like, us like man? saying dude a thousand times and screaming about parallax occlusion, and then these two are just like totally philosophical and like, <laughs> a little hard what departure. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a nice mix of of bullshit shenanigans and actual conversations and actual meaningful conversations. Well, the thing is, is I, I'm sure you're experiencing right now when you're playing. Oh, dude, there you are, dude. <laughs> ATC, dude. ATC. Um, I'm playing. But but now that you're playing, I'm sure you're starting to like see like it, it's weird. A lot of people think that let's playing is easy Dude, or or commentating. You got fucked. Commentating is easy, and for some people it probably is. But I'm definitely in the camp where like it takes a lot of fucking of your of your brain power to just. <laughs>
commentate while <laughs> playing a game. Like, like it's it's surprisingly difficult. And like, there's a lot of people. Like, I mean, I've been exposed to this stigma because, I mean, when people ask me what I do, I'm like, well, I'm trying to play video games for a living. You know what I'm saying? And like, people are like, that's stupid. That's easy. Get a real job. You know, things like that. But like, I don't know. Like, being a hundred percent on is pretty hard to do. Just as a personality talking, but then also trying to play a game and not play it terribly. Yeah. I mean, again, there's some people that probably like this is easy and they're like, you're fucking stupid. It is easy. And, you know, whatever. If that's how that is for you, that's great. But I know for me, I'm not saying like, oh man, this is the hardest thing. It's like ditch digging. I'm not saying anything like that, but it, it's a lot harder than I think a lot of people give it credit for. Yeah. So, as I'm sure you again, like yeah. I'm sure you're experiencing, it's a lot harder than you think, and it's it's interesting because because I'm just sitting on this sideline right now, <laughs> I can use 100% of my brain power to just think of these conversations exactly. and shit like that. So, I'm sure that while while you're helming <laughs> and I'm sitting here, we're probably going to end up having a little bit more of the the conversationalist uh, <laughs> thing just because I have the brain capacity now to do that. I'm not half reserved on 360 no scope especially especially <laughs> having like especially going from like from like these deep philosophical points it's like trying to like think of uh you know like things to say <laughs> like and like organizing my thoughts while trying to right like play this game and i'm i'm, I'm not used to computer-esque games so it's like i'm still getting used to pressing q with my <laughs> with my freaking index or my uh ring finger as opposed to Looking at the fucking. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna tweet about this at some point, dude. I had a realization about computer first-person shooters that not really blew my mind, but definitely kind of like upset me in a way. First-person shooters on PCs are point-and-click adventure games. Think about that. Dude, what? I can't think. I'm dead. <laughs> think about that. You literally point, then you click, and that person dies, and then you move to the next room. It's that's a true. fucking point and click game. I guess it is. Isn't that crazy bullshit? That is I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, it's a first person shooter. No, you're pointing and clicking. That's all you're doing. You fucking point at a guy and you click on him, and then he dies, and then you point at a new guy and you click on him. It's a first person clicker. <laughs> Dude, a uh, uh, clicker. Uh, what are you getting? Some Last of Us? <laughs> Dude, uh, whatever that means. Uh, uh, dude, I love dude, the last of Us. this part is difficult, dude. Dude, <laughs> the thing is, you keep running straight into the middle, dude. You gotta sit back and, and, and sniggity snaggity snipe homes. Dude, how can you kill your brethren like this? Dude, my fellow ATC brethren. <laughs> your federal... Federal? Federal? Fuck you! Yeah, what the hell was I saying? Awful. What word was that trying to be? Federal? Fellow how ATC you brethren. Um... But yeah, no, and, it, and it's something that's interesting, and I, I challenge you to try this, and I kind of challenge anybody to try this. Uh, if you like, if you're a person who consumes a lot of let's plays and, and things like that, but have never never actually tried it, sit down in a room. You don't even have to record your gameplay. Find a way to record your voice, even if it's as simple as downloading a voice recorder uh, with your fucking phone. But sit down, play a game, and try to talk to that game. As if you were let's play. Try to keep the dead air down to a minimum. Try to keep the conversations interesting. You know, don't just be like, "What was that? What was over there?" So <laughs> we're gonna be moving to this. There's a guy in this next room. Like, like actually try to have conversations. Try to think of something funny. Try to have rants. It's fucking hard, it's hard man. Dude. And like, I've been doing my solo Dead Space uh, three let's play, and I, it's all right. I think it has its moments, but I think it has more more downtime than you know. I'd hope it would, and just to get like <laughs> maybe a little, a little deep into like the thought process, I think that there are definitely games that uh, are cohesive to let's playing more than others. Like an example of a game that would be a terrible let's play, in my opinion, and I'm sure again. People, I'm not saying that all are bad and that it's impossible, but I would say a game that would be pretty fucking hard to let's play would be a game like like a Call of Duty campaign or a Halo campaign or something like that. Something that's very action focused, very like shooter gallery, things like that. Because there's not, first off, there's not a lot to talk about because you're just doing the same thing in every room with an occasional different weapon or enemy. Um, but then at the same point, it's just a shooter gallery, so you have to be focusing on killing, and it, there's not a lot to 
to talk about in the in in those types of games. Uh, this game walks a weird line because it does have that shooter gallery essence to it, like that those parts exist, but it also has its downtime. A game that I think would be like one of the better and more cohesive ones for Let's Plays are games like Resident Evil or or uh, Bioshock. Something like that. Something that has... Wow! wow. Dude, he just fucking, like, four-shot burst in your ass. Fuck me! <laughs> God. Um, but that have more downtime and more interesting things to look at and talk about and see and story and things like that. Um, God damn it. I Again, I've gotten so fucking far off track that I don't even remember what the hell the point was. For this. Me either. But... <laughs> Uh, but essentially, yeah, like, you know, it's it's harder than, than you'd think. So, for those who do go, Ah, oh, it's fucking easy, you're fucking crybaby pussy, you can't fucking think and speak and play games because you're dumb and don't have brain capacity. If, if it's easy for you, then that's awesome. I'm glad that it's easy for you. I'm glad that you can just kind of, like, do it. But, like, I feel more often than not the people who say that are people that have never tried it, and it's harder than you'd think. I, I can hardly speak right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> that's why I'm not speaking. Well, that's why I think that, like, two, maybe three-person Let's Plays are actually some of the better yeah. Let's Plays. Especially when it's, you know, one or more people not actually playing, more just observing. Um, because then the other people can pick up the slack. Right. Like, for example, there will be parts, uh, and it's mostly during the fucking action sequences in Dead Space 3, where, like, I'll just be in a room and I'm just dealing with these guys and I'm like, come on, motherfucker, come on at me. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Oh, yeah. And I think that's all I can think of to say at that point because I'm trying to fucking kill these guys and I'm trying to not get hit and I'm trying not to waste my ammo and it's just, I I'm, I have trouble coming up more than, than that. And that doesn't mean I don't try. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty early in my, 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 days. my let's playing experience. I mean, I, I have a decent amount, but I mean... It's it's pretty pretty early at this point. Pretty early. And I, I try and I I've been I've been uh been doing doing some uh some things to try to, to make it a little more interesting. If I come up with an idea, you know, I'll write it down and then review it before I play, you know. Things like that to try to keep it a little more interesting. Oh, but uh right. you just wrote uh rah. Rah. <laughs> Dude, wouldn't it be funny if they would respond to that? You said Rod, like, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> what is that text on my eyes? Why am I running so slow? He's far? over here. Why am, um, why am I running so slow? But yeah, like it, it's 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 an interesting it's an interesting thing because I think that some people are inherently really die. natural with it, and I think that some audiences don't even actually want these types of conversations we're having. Like some people don't want you know to 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 listen to this type of stuff. I mean, an example, and I don't I don't want to call anybody out, but like people who do like Five Nights at Freddy's Let's Plays, like. That game, there's really not a whole lot to say about that game. And again, I'm going to find somebody who's like, You're a fucking idiot! There's a million things to say! And I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying in general, I'm sure there are people that can find a lot to say, and I'm sure those people that are really into the story, you know, would have a lot to say about it. But like, in general, it's kind of like, Oh, where you at? Where you at? Ah! Jump scare! You know what I mean? And like, <laughs> but that's all that people want. People just, like, some people just want to watch somebody get scared, laugh at them for being scared, and then move on. Did so I, did I do this? I, <laughs> I think you have. I've been so like deep in thought right now. I just realized that you've been on the same spot for. Like, I have, minutes. and it's not good. I, I think you got through but, it though. But I agree. It, it hurts like hurting my brain a little bit to try to think and talk at the same time. <laughs> it's not, I'm telling you, it's not as easy as everybody thinks. Again, reiterating, I don't think it's like terribly hard. We're not like cr fucking calculusing here or like performing. You know, like. How do I get a space shuttle into fucking Mars? It's nothing like that, but it is harder than I think most people give credit for. There's a guy in the right. I'm gonna burp. <clears throat> oh, that was a shitty burp. Edit that out. That was terrible. No, oh. I'll edit you out. <laughs> Dude, do not die. Whatever you do, please. I swear to Jesus. Who's Jesus? A good person. <laughs> I'm kidding, audience. Jokes! I days. know who Jesus is. I swear to God, though, if I... I mean, I swear if I die... Oh, my oh, God! Behind you! That was a shotgun, man. That was a snatsky. What a literal stuff. He is done for now, though. Dude, look at that dead face. Dude, I'm pretty sure you worked with that guy once. <laughs> look at that parallax occlusion blood. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> no more of that! We're moving on! 
Oh, oh no, 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 dude. How do, I, how do I slow? Dude, you have a shotgun, by the way. That thing's maze balls. if you want to use it. This gun's actually kind of good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right. It doesn't have nearly as much ammo as your shotgun, though. 180 uh, shots of your shats, dude. dude. But I don't want to hold this bad boy out. I'm gonna dude, die. that's a lot. Wow. That guy's just got shit in his bod, dude. That's like... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Dude, are those bullets? They're uh, you, the gun you were using is a rail gun, so they're uh, they're just giant oh. rails. If you know what I mean, ladies. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah. I don't know if I go up or down, so I'm gonna go up. But at this point, I think we should actually talk about the, <laughs> the fucking game. Dude, so oh, about man. this game, it's pretty we've, fun so far. We've I've never been played recording it for 50 minutes, and I think we've talked about the game like three times. So I've never played this 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 game before, and. Uh, I can honestly say it's pretty fun. I don't think it's supposed to go this way, but... Uh, actually, I think you are. I think it's supposed to go that way. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go that yeah, way. Yeah, I think so. Actually, I don't actually know that for sure. I think there's a door behind here. Nope. Yep, there is. To your left. Nope. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. There he is. Dude, I know things every oh. once in a while. Dude. ADS, Holmes? That's not ADSing, Holmes. What does that mean? Aim down sights, dude. Oh. Come on, you're a COD player. Dude, nobody calls it ADS. Dude. Everybody and their mother calls it ADS. I've never heard I'm of that. pretty sure that the fucking... Oh, God. Oh, I just lost the name of the perk. But whatever perk it is that increases that speed, I'm pretty sure they call it increases ADS speed in the perk description. That guy dude. is moving on the ground there. I don't think you killed him quite dead enough. I would walk in and die, but I got hurt. Wow, why am I getting hurt? <laughs> Dude, pick up that fucking medical kit. Holmes. Medicality kit. Heal box. What did I call them? Health box? I don't know. Heal box kits? Dude, turn around, dude. There's another one. Oh. Is that a Bible, dude? <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 no. I, if I die, dude, I'm literally gonna freak. <laughs> you gotta kill him, Holmes. Okay. <laughs> it's really funny watching you hunt for keys. With your with your eyes, like, looking down at that <laughs> keyboard. Dude, I'm, find I'm not used to the keys, man. Yeah, Dude, you're not there. even aiming at him. You're aiming in the center. Like, between the two we people. We need help! We need help! I need shit. <laughs> oh, you tickled him. I'm just gonna tickle you with my bullets. Oh, he what the fuck was that? Obviously it was a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really interesting <laughs> moment. I, I really liked, like, the slow mode and, like, high speed. Like, we made a joke about that, like, singing, but he was like... <laughs> <laughs> should I jump down here? I uh, probably should, but I would not miss. Oh no! You're alive. I, I thought I died. I was dude, about to get piss. out of that water, dude. You don't know what's in there, man. Dude, stop, dude. There's scaring. something in the water. You're scaring me, dude. Can I get a checky, please? <laughs> Has it? Like, when was the last time you got one? I'm sure you'll get one soon. Be before that little, uh, that whole. Uh, Holmes. Yeah. What is freaking out there in front of you? Is that an apparition? Are we experiencing ghostly apparitiones? Dude, am I gonna die if I go through this? I, I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I'm not gonna tell you yet. I'll well, if you... I die, I'm literally gonna be. <laughs> when I punch a hole straight through your fucking head. You gotta get rid of that, uh. That padlock, Holmes. Oh, run, dude! Run, dude! Run! Oh, that's man. supposed to happen? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> How do I get out? Get out, dude! There's something in the water! How do I Climb! Get... Stop. Press E, dude! I'm pressing E. You're not doing it. E. 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 Oh, my God, man. It's going to bite you. Are you... Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Just to go back to more philosophical questions. Oh, God. Are you, like, afraid of open water? Like, what, you, what is your thoughts... Like, what's your thoughts of being in, like, deep-ass open water? Uh, how do I get through here? Uh, I'm sure you'll find a way. I asked you a question. Um, so how do I feel about open water? Uh, I don't mind it per se. Uh, it's a little c kind of weird to me, a little bit. Uh, especially like when you're like out in the ocean and like, like you're legitimately out in the ocean and there's like. How do you think? Fucking there's sharks a, and shit? Yeah, like sharks and like fucking whales and like legitimate whales and stuff around. So I'm like, going to go ahead and be completely honest with you. There's not many... Oh, fuck. There are not many things in this world that I would consider myself terrified of. Open water is one of those things. Really? 
Dude, I'm such a fucking bitch, I can't even swim in ponds. Like, I can't. Like, just the thought of it makes me want to vomit. Really? I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm a punk bitch when it comes to open water. Like, thank Jesus. There you go, Holmes. There it is. <sighs> you checkpointed, and you're not going to fucking me. go all the way back? Dude, wait, we're supposed to do another... No, no, it's uh, 25 minutes, so... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I just didn't do math very well. <laughs> Good catch. I was going to go to an hour. Fuck. All right, so just, just uh, time for the checkpoint. We will continue the open water conversation in the next time. In the next one. In the next We're time. enticing you. <laughs> Enticement. Oh, my God. I seriously was going to go to an hour, but they would have had an extra long episode. Extra. I mean, they're special. So. I do like extra long. Full long? Dude, at least. <laughs> at uh, least. What the hell? On that note. I have been the Grunting Pixel, otherwise known as GP. This has been Assault Rifle, otherwise known as Alex AR. <laughs> AR. Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. If you liked this, feel free to give it a like. And if you don't, then please don't, don't dislike it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more videos like this, feel free to subscribe for new content. For and old content. We, we, we provide old content. Well, it's, it's new for them. <laughs> it's new to them. And uh, if you know anybody who would like this, please feel free to, to share it with share them. Share it up. And uh, entice them to share it too. And if you if they don't like, <laughs> if they don't if they don't view it or share it, tell them that you won't be their friend anymore. Entice them. And that cap they love might go missing. That, Maybe. That cap? Is that what you just said? Cat. Uh, I was like, oh, a cat for a water bottle? Like, <laughs> no, you're, oh, you're, your, your lid, much. dude. The hat you're wearing. The lid. On that note, again, <clears throat> fucking sidetrack <throat> Alex. That's what we need to call you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And we'll see you next time in the next one. So weird. What? I'm being. I, this is supportive, Alex. Stop oppressing. You dick. Like, fucking cocky asshole like, with your giant fucking wiener. Why don't you go back to pleasing women, you dickhead? <laughs>